It's getting late. Where to now? Uh, nice. Hey, welcome back to Mango 3 I'm here. We're going to continue with Star Rail. This is, uh, I think, the third stream, third episode. We're brand new. We just got to a new planet. Um, it looks like the game's already working, so I'll go ahead and flip over to that. Um, they wanted me to... I'm just entering this new town. It's pretty much the only place on this ice planet. Um, I'm going to check and see all these things. They told me to see certain sites. Wow, look at the carved ice! feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silverman Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History Program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna, but you can call me Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. Sounds Russian. Yes, Miss Pela. And perhaps the grown-ups among us could refrain from acting like children. Okay, guys, take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopath. It was they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts, a gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions? Alright. There's a newspaper seller. Sure. One of each. Soda, rye bread, ice. That's me. I'll probably never read them. If you're interested, I can call them out, but. Never Winter Workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I've been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Is this how they repel the eternal freeze? If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. You guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh wow, she's cool! Broken? Yep, 
touch it and find out. Ice cold. I was just about to fix it up. I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. We only just got here. Everything's new to us. Only just got here? Ah! I figured it out! I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor! Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. Her hair looks cool. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. What is Geomero? It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Above and beneath the surface? You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. It's weird. Is Not it allowed just to go like down? Is food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Geothermal. <laughs> no sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, Professor seeing as there's nothing Rupert on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Sure, we're not Great. busy. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Rotate the modules, adjust the circuit, endpoint connected to the current. Red when selected. So don't select the end. Source where the electric current goes out. That's where it can be unlocked. Rotate it. Okay. So that's how it works. Oh yeah. Old VCR machine. I not dare imagine what it might show you. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Allow me to refuse. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. See what's around the hotel. Bye, Serval. Cool hair. Come around and have a look. Ah, uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. The one contaminated by the fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... But my proof of property is inside! 
I don't have any. The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. This world really is in dire straits. Can soldiers really hold back the Fragmentum? As long as the Stellaron is active, the corrosion will continue to spread. The soldiers can only periodically clear the Fragmentum of monsters. But the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Like Kingdom Hearts. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! <sighs> Oh look, trash can. Trash can, not remarkable in any way. You've been staring at it for a while, just an ordinary trash can. Uh, what do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty and the dents are smoothed over. From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash can turns... Trash cans turn into treasure chests. And it's happening again. You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper in the trash can. Piece of iron scrap on the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. You look back at your companion to see their complicated expression. You don't need to explain. I get it. That urge is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back once you walk down this path. Wow. Obtain from completing five hidden missions. What do I do with it? Someone threw a book. You pick it up. Well, a serial novel by the name of Tale of the Wonderland. You have the incomplete fourth volume in your hands. Okay. just want to put my head on. Wow, what a beautiful lobby. It's going to be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Want to have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> March. Earlier in Klipoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're going to say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. They're like opposites. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Klipoth Fort, uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, this isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are oh. sharper than the sharpest blade. It's a thing so, did you notice anything? I knew there was something up with her. Am I the only one that didn't notice anything? I'll say the first one. So she nope. Listens? She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm. I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Do you have to put it like that? That's scary. It must have been the invisible man. It must have been a guard. You guys are overthinking things. Overthinking. <laughs> uh, it's possible. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I 
Just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. So many little things to collect. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. It's enough fun for today. Time to rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Sleep well, guys. Oh, you too. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! <laughs> Clap off. Oh, before I forget. Well, let's pick up these things in an element. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is, based on signals coming in from your sensory organs, a perfect closet. Design capability, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better scent. Wait a minute, scent? How is scent a measure of how good a closet is? Doesn't matter, it smells good. It has an, It's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Rather, it's a miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial, a marvel of chemical engineering. It is so alluring that all you want is to get into the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent. Whatever, I'm going in. Here I come, closet. Uh, yes, you're about to go in. Left foot, right foot, turn around, take a deep breath. Darn it. Why a deep breath? You want to sneeze, but manage to suppress it. Stand firm, and then... Close the door in one smooth move. Bang! Congratulations, you've been now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all this. Hmm, this place might seem a little dark to you. Guess you will eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes, or I went out, I went out. Go out? Are you sure? No, I don't think they'd be good for you. Trust yourself, just wait a little longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait, did you hear that? A sound is closing in. Click, click. It's just someone waiting in the corridor. The real deal is coming. That's exactly right. Just think about it. Just take a guess. Who's tip footsteps are those? Room service, the goth, uh, goth hotels, devil. Yes, yes, you now you finally get it. That's the goth hotel's resident devil. It hibernates in dark, unintended small attics, specifically feeding on innocent and vulnerable outsiders. Did I just lose? You picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are the universally renowned trailblazer, the guardian deity of the Herda space station. The Doomsday Beasts. Uh, Doom. Yep, today is the day you purge evil for the greater good. It doesn't seem to be that dark in the closet. The light of valor illuminates your surroundings. Wow. Room service, is anyone in there? Ha, there is. All hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built by Clea. Clepa. You are prepared. Um, I'm gonna come in now, okay? Now, devil, meet your judgment. Bang, the closet door slams open. Die, you hotel devil. Ah, ah, what the heck? You won, the hotel's devil is now banished, and this land is now purified. Uh, that devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as a reward for your intrepidity. Praise of high morals. What is that? Alright, before I forget, I noticed that I have exactly eight and I can get eight more, so pretty soon I'm gonna get a free character. A free five star. And this one is a. Usually the color tells me. Purple! Who do we get? Pioneering. 
Vanishing Cogs, Sagacity, Amber, Pela! A new character for Nihility. Nihility? Nihility. However you pronounce it. Ooh, and another uh, four star shared feeling. I wonder what that shared feeling is. So this one goes with abundance. So you have to find somebody who's abundance. All right, who do we have that's abundance? And actually, should we go for this guy or not? I, I've got enough crystals, I think. Actually, I have no idea. I probably don't have enough crystals. I want to get the best characters early, but maybe not that early. Alright, so we got Abundance, and you are Nihility, you are Nihility, Harmony, The Hunt, Preservation, Erudition, 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 The Hunt. Is that it? I don't have that one, so I have no reason to use it. Trailblaze 15, and he can upgrade to level 30, or up to above 20. Did I level somebody else up too? Look at her sword, it's huge. I'm gonna see if she can get a four star. Do I have a four star? Not of her kind. Alright, I guess we'll rest. We'll figure out the praise of high moral thingy eventually. Cocolia! Cocolia! What are you? It's hard to hear. I'm going to turn it up. And we get a knock at the door. Who is it? No answer. Who is hey, it? Do not say that? anything. There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, if this is our escort, it's less friendly than I was expecting. You guys are assuming a lot. All I can see is their helmets. Can't really be friendly on the job, you know. Maybe they're not here to escort us. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Hey! Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Are we in a lot of trouble? The opening of the post box removes two envelopes that are being kept in a delicate balance. Touching either of them will condemn the other to be swallowed with a pitch black moth. Such a dilemma falls in front of you. Push them all in. You reach your hand, gently touch them. You aren't sure where your hand is skinned, but the balance of the two envelopes is instantly broken. It's incredible how good it feels to do something good. Hey, I got another crazy high morals. Is that? A burning smell invades your nostrils as you approach the trash can. The trash can looks like it was set on fire. The entire trash can is deformed with a layer of black, sport, ash like substance coating the bottom. In the light, you can see particles floating softly, almost something. 
trash can. Once you're feeling down in your luck, you saw the two of you were a good match. Doesn't seem to be a point in investigating the trash can. You haven't missed nothing. Anything. Nothing's worth looking at in this trash can. It's just a trash can. A trash can. Once you're feeling down in your luck, met your match. Hello, you Haley. How are you doing? Lord. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. What? As agent of the Supreme Guardian, rebellion. I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action. And I speech. did nothing. When you are tried by the adjudication, I'm doing good. How about you? I see you're the streaming Star Realm now. Yep. Against the accusations. I'm doing fine. Lots of gardening this morning. Come with me. Uh, Able to finish minute. up just in time for this. Agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. But this I'm just arrested. I used to be running around freely, and now. They have me in chains. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. This is like this Russia. Always yeah. act without thinking. You never have a plan. Is that what everyone's like a Russian person? I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And got one. Down on the alley. The one that's been sealed off. This is Don Hung's your, your wind level 60 character. March. I think mine's level 7. Escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. It's now or never. You sounded pretty convincing. We should probably go with them. I'm gonna say we should go with them. Three of a kind. Huh? I guess we're a strange too. Can we focus, please? Shh! It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Yeah. Two pair. Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace. Ace. <laughs> oh. I guess it doesn't matter what I say. They're probably gonna escape no matter what. I picked the most passive one. <laughs> we still took off. Ha uh ha -huh. ha! You try so hard to be funny. We have a talking trash can. Have you ever clicked on the trash can more than once? They charged straight in! Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or... Deceased. Yep, I talked to all the trash cans and got a little secret profile <gasps> avatar from it. Oh, so I should keep exploring. The Guardian's them. order was to arrest them. Of course, I just got arrested, so I probably missed all my opportunities. Area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. If I ever come back, they spent yes, a lot of work on this scene to not have it re. Like me able to go back at some point. security. That is what I must do. I like her earrings. They look cool. She can't be that evil. Ha! Secret profile See, avatar. They weren't brave enough to follow us. Yeah, they do have a Freedom! little star next to them, so maybe I'll find them. Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. That's my favorite Bronya. Oh, that's right. You did mention that. So the fact that you like her means she must eventually be on your team. She's an enemy right now. That was too risky. Great work. We got lucky. I'll say great work. <laughs> it was a team effort. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Hm. Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans.
Backwater Pass. Gate is locked. Controller must be somewhere. Supreme Guardian Tatiana delivers an important speech. Newspaper clip. Okay. Oh, if I look at it, then I get to have it. That works. Alright, let's shoot this guy. Amber, Asta. <laughs> Same thing, right? She's fire. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh boy, there's two guys over there. I love it over there. Twenty. Think we can take them? There's two of them though. Let's beat probably one after the other. Hmm. I'm gonna come back when I get a little bit smart. Ah! Oh, another one. A new Calyx. We'll do one round on here, brother. Then I'm gonna do All six. So this is for that sort of stuff. And Asta, you're gone. We could use a support person. Hey! Silver Wolf, you like her. I sent you a friend request. Okay, thanks. I will go look at that in a second when I, when I get back to the news. Time for a fun. <laughs> the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Also, I see that the chat cooldown has gone down. My messages are coming faster. Are made to be broken. Oh. Time for a fun. <laughs> Um, on Twitch? Because I made a whole bunch of computer changes over the last few days. I didn't realize that that might have been what it helped. This is double speed. Is that what you mean, the Twitch chats? This is really cheating because I have this really awesome character who can help me. Watch this awesome move! <laughs> If I die and the only one left is my uh, person that I recruited, do I still lose? Look at that health, 2640. Oh, I remember you got I get to use her in the very beginning. Because I remember that thing where the numbers pop up and she looks all fancy. She was one of my first teammates. Temporary, I suppose. This is double speed. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Rules. Homer and Rigger. Battle over. Alright, I'm gonna exit. Look at your friend request. Yeah, I got 300 for that. I can't wait to get a 15 and I can level level people up. Friend request. <clears throat> Good. Ana. Or Ina? Level 80? I thought you'd said level 60. Oh, you're, you're main level 60. Connecting to you, hello. Alright, 
let's try this. Yep, I'm Ana, or Ina. Named after my favorite character from another game. Oh, okay. Which game? I do not recognize it. That's weird. I just invited you, but I don't see you on the list. Unless it's too early. Oh, refresh list, maybe? There you are. Well, is your support character. I've no interest in cock. Wow, four thousand four hundred health. That's insane. Oh my gosh. He just did a regular hit and killed everybody. There is no other choice. That's cool. Do I bump into him at some point in the game? You, I guess you probably have to do everybody since there's only like 30 characters. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. He's got glasses like me. Wow, that was like the fastest ever. The fact that my wind guy is a little Survive bit faster, or be destroyed. There probably is has some light like, as a special thing that makes him fast. Ina, pronounced Ina. Survive oh, or be Ana. destroyed. There is no other choice. Rhythm game called Project Sekai. She's my favorite. But yes, you already have bumped into Welt in the story from the Astral Exorcist. Oh, he's the one from the ship. Okay. All right. We got to level 15 and now we can raise people up. Wow, this is exactly like the other game. <laughs> what do you think of Walt? He's pretty awesome. Very awesome. Oh, I don't have enough materials to get the light cone up. Do I, should I put anybody else up higher? I guess they, sh they should all, since my best characters are like not that good. Travel encounters. So I get Dan, Asta, Sampo, Pela, Serval, Herta, or Sushong. Who should I level up? Can't level up everybody. What's her... Is a 4 star? Oh, it's like a 3 star. I'm not even going to bother leveling up the 3 star ones. Trailblazing Will. Alright, 10 more star rails, so we get a new character after this. And this is a guaranteed 5 star. That's who I should be spending the leveling up on. Who am I gonna get? This is all random. Unless I get... Who am I gonna get? Who am I gonna get? Departure. Guaranteed 5 star. It's gold. Oh, I thought it was a 5 star cone. <laughs> I was like, 
Oh my gosh. Here we go, five star welt. I just used that guy. Yo. <laughs> it's weld. Oh yeah. And he's nigh nihility or nihility. Oh, and we got another one, Ting Yun. Harmony. I don't think I have a harmony person yet. Speaking of Amber, here with Amber. Alright, two new characters. I noticed you got a 5 star before the train even came because there's a special animation when the ticket with the ticket as it flies by. Yeah, it showed a different color. I saw that too. It was a gold gold one instead of a purple one. All right. So he's nihility. I don't have any 5 star nihility ones. We got hidden shadow. Effect hit rate. These are all pretty bad. Let's go to increase damage. And then we can level him up. Oh, we can't ascend him. We need silver main badges. Embers exchange, or I'm sure I'm gonna fight something at some point, so. You're stuck at 20, buddy, sorry. Uh, how about you? You are Teen Yoon, you got ears. Just because, do you have a tail? Yeah, you do have a big bushy tail. <laughs> Harmony, we got this. Regenerates energy, okay. Uh, let's do that one. Okay. Now we get to change our party. <clears throat> Don Hung or Asta, which ones get booted? Achievement, eager for battle. Obtained 10 characters. Woohoo! I think they said not that many left. I like have half the characters already. If you get the same character twice, do they get boosted? I think there's like a special. And what's equilibrium? Something about equilibrium level 1. Alright, so these guys, I think I can take them now. Because I have two level 30s and a level 20, I should be able to take them. And I got ambushed. I guess he's not ranged. It'll take more than that. Oops. I hate getting ambushed. I don't even have a healer. I have a shield shielder. If you get the same character twice, you get their Eidolon. Oh, okay. Constellations of Magic. Got it. That hasn't happened yet, but... She puts up shields and you're almost dead. And that's why I'm. Oh, let's see. I'm also in it. Survive or be destroyed. Synthetic there black no hole. Choice. Watch this awesome move. Rules are made to be broken.
Formidable foe defeated. Treasure unlocked. Interesting. Just a little experience. All right. So, well, you are not very good to. How about you? Yeah, your range. All right. Um, I think it's this way. That's health. Yeah, we can take that. <laughs> Bring Don Hung back. Wind shows up a lot and these weaknesses of must enemies. Okay, okay. Thanks. I'll take the fire out, I guess. I thought maybe with ice everything would be weak to fire, but if wind is the most popular. Thing. You couldn't have done it without me. I also have Sampo. Is that wind? Yeah, green swiggle. Animo. Even. Yes. Doesn't even have to be a red circle around, apparently. I can Too freeze it from long range. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. You couldn't have done it without me. Can we just go through here? That's all that was, opening the door to go back. Who would want to go back? Maybe I forgot a trash can. Here's a trash can. I can't click on this one. You didn't go to everyone. See, I couldn't even go to that one. Sampo! He's a lot better than Don Hung. I don't have him myself. I'm pretty sure Hampo, Sampo hits every enemy with a wind weakness battle with just his skill. Oh. See, I haven't even tried him yet, so. Let's do that. That way I'm different. I should probably level him up a tiny bit so he doesn't die on me. Okay, you go up to level 20. He needs... Automation? I don't know what automations are. Actually, does he have a light phone? He has a 3 star light phone. And there exists nothing that's 4 star. Wait, there are still remain guards here. Careful not to alert them. We must have entered we can from take another them. direction to cut us off. We're so o OP we right avoid now. an open conflict. Let's find another path. Find another path. You should learn the game shortcuts. Press L to quickly change your team. U to use your buffs. I have buffs. Check your buffs. I'm pushing you, and nothing's happening. Freeze. Maybe I don't have any buffs. Maybe that's why. L. L does change team to do it. We must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. <sighs> Nothing's happening, that's all. It doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh. Yes, we saw one in Serval's workshop. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. I'll check the, uh... Yeah, maybe it says controls or something. K. 
characters our character screen C team set up as T. Oh, you can choose whatever you want. My goodness, there's a lot of buttons. There's a buffs one, right? Check the buffs. Seeing a buff one. Maybe I haven't gotten it yet. Go to settings, fix what you want. You shouldn't be that important to learn the shortcuts in. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. My team setup shortcut was L for me because I assigned it to L because team setup is also L in Genshin. So I did because it's easy. Oh, okay. Tease my team. I can move. Easier than holding down alt and trying to find them. Okay, is it a timer? I'm too slow. Let's go. Guards, I'm not gonna go after them. They're gonna, they're not gonna let me in there. Like that. Time for some hardship. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Do it. Open your inventory. Review the consumables you have. Select consumables. Use the right consumables. Different effects to help your exploration. Wrathful gauntlets it increases your attack boost. Use. Confirm. Just the next battle. Okay, maybe now it's gonna say there's a button for status effect. Hey, hey, you! It just appeared on it for me. See, I told you it hadn't been activated yet. So you for that. See, it even show a little button. To betray my customers, surprise present. I charge extra. His ultimate is hearts. You couldn't have done it without me. Um, you 
are in the wrong way. That's a weird circuit. Ah, ouch! It should hurt me if it hits me. Ooh, big monster! Oh, another level twenty. Let's go for it. Magflow link puzzles. They're pretty Watch easy. Well, for me, at least. Thanks. I guess there, I'm guessing there's a lot more later on. To betray my customers, I charge extra. Take all your. Give me all your treasures. That's it. A databank. Shoot that. Switch to you. Keep at it. Store. Keep at it. Keep at it. Looks good. Now we continue with our quest. Collecting more papers. A quick breed. Okay, I was supposed to do this puzzle thingy. It's going to lead me to another chest. That opened a door, did I already get that one? Oh yeah, that was the one that heading to where we need to go. Alright, let's check the map. See, am I going the right way? I think I need to go straight into the right. Yeah, that's the door that just opened. Corrosion. This is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Ah, oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! How 
publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender! We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine! Oh, here comes a fight. And I can't do auto, so I have to actually think about this. You know nothing of the weight behind survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Bounce. That's the multiple one you said. Also bounce. My turn! You're right, wind, you called it. Betray the king. Well, you gotta make it worth my while. <laughs> oh, yeah, I took down two with one hit. <clears throat> I'm fine. Stop right there. Can't figure out if my regular attack or the multiple attack for this one is better. I'm gonna go with some. Yeah. Rock. Bounce. I'll wait till somebody's Stand down. Simpo Koski always takes care of his friends. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! Let's make it quick. You need to experience. <laughs> We're just having fun. Try this on for size. Down to seven. Down to one. Guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. <laughs> oh boy. What is this? That's like the thing that Sampo used on his weapon, the little heart thing. And there's Sampo. <laughs> I called it. One thing to say Sampo never lets friends who helped him come to harm. <laughs> it's our boy Sampo. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. I think I passed out. It's all black. Black screen of death. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. 
pirate. You have witnessed the world we have promised. A tenant. Understand. Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't he woken up yet? Because he's sound asleep. Didn't you hear him sleep talking? Poor child, sounded like a bad nightmare. That's Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it. I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from Wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. Running He's away. Scratch my back? How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does Wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. It's weird in her hair. She's got like this clothes kind of thing. Talk to the unfamiliar woman, find out what's happening. Natasha, not Natalia. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? No, I feel much better. Good. You were out for a while. I was beginning to worry. You were saying some strange things. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. <clears throat> I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Nice to meet you. I'm Mangler Surya. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> You're very polite. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Why did I pass out? People are following us. What's our medical bill? <laughs> Where are my friends? They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. I need to meet up with her. Sure, but. Don't push yourself. If you start feeling unwell, come straight back and tell me. And if you run into any trouble, you can try asking for Wildfire. Wildfire? It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. Always choose the comical dialogue as the trailblazers. Thank you, Dr. Natasha. Can't thank you enough. Bye for now. Eh. Uh, 
No comical, but I'll keep your mind. No I'll keep in mind that it doesn't. It's the doctor's kill you duty to heal. I gotta find March seventh and Dan Hong. But where should I start? Start by collecting all the extra stuff. You have nothing to say. Can you give me? You do. Thank you. Musicians of Elba. So many things. I think I picked up about eight of them. Maybe it didn't remember. Lost World. Hey, it's your dumpster. Dumpster remain silent. This hunk of junk gazes gently at you. Two trash cans stood tightly side by side as if no force in the world could separate them. It's probably just a number of Cans you click on. So you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. in an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You! Uh, when did you get here? Been here a while. Doesn't matter. Not that long, big sister. Doesn't matter. Uh, th this isn't just hide and seek, okay? Let me explain. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sanbo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? I get it. Need a teammate? I get it. Well, best of luck. I get it. You're being bullied by children. I don't know if you noticed, but this game is too unserious if you pay attention to all the details. Yeah, I've definitely been skipping details and just going with so the flow. what if I am? Why don't you help me, huh? Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. He also wants to join the moles. Can he play too? Um, phew, I guess so. Then, you guys are seeking! Boss, they don't seem very smart. <laughs> Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. So if I teleport away, it's something funny's when gonna happen? When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Let's check inside this chest. Is he in here? No, but I'll take that. Check in the trash. Dumpster evokes a special emotion in you. In relation to its local, location, appearance, and olfactory triggers, 
it is a sense of hiding from the world as well as a hint of preternatural natural coziness. A wrinkly piece of paper is stuck on the lid of the dumpster with the number 81 on it. Open, knock on it, scribble the paper. Knock on it. Well behaved, this trash can is someone's private zone. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Knocking on the wall before entering presents your respect. In fact, however, not every decent person can really win others' respect. Scribble the paper. Submit the required items. You change the number on the piece of paper to 84. You may have done this out of no reason, but you have a feeling that this may have changed things. The package will be forever on this level. Regrettably, you cannot waste consequences uneasy because of your tiny prank. So I... Did I lose something? Did I lose one of my eye morals thing? Shining, someone drew two pieces of material moral into it. Person threw it so heavily the shards scattered and over in the trash can. No idea where the anger of that person stems from. Neither can you understand this behavior. After all, Geo Marrow is as valuable as gold in the underground. Would you throw money? Even in a fit of anger? Of course. Wow. Okay, well they're telling me where he's hiding, so checking that dumpster. I mean about the NPCs being unserious. In the space station, there's like this old woman who's going like one, two, three, and one of the dialogue options for the trailblazer is literally one, two, three, one, two, three, drink. Like literally from the song Chandelier by Sia. It's funny if you know the song reference. Oh. I don't. Sorry. Found him. I think I saw something that referred to Paimon. Alright, now we're playing for real. You gotta count to 50 before you, you open food. your eyes. No cheating. 47, 48, 49, 50. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. The more I have lost the game for ages. Show me the rule book. But, but we caught you. What's with the Q&A? Uh, I thought I had you there. There's also a Genshin reference in the space station. One of the things you see, a glider. Oh. I saw a little picture that looked like Paimon earlier on the wall. It's spray painted. And then they made some joke mm, about Paimon. Something's food. not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. Probably like little, uh, what do you call those things? Mm -hmm. Easter eggs. It's probably gonna be Easter eggs everywhere. It'd be like a hunt of looking for Easter eggs. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy, but... Ready Player One had like so many Easter eggs in it. If you and if you read that book, that's good. And then the movie had its own set of Easter eggs, not the same ones as the book really, but similar idea. It's him, no doubt. He's looking taller and older. He looks looks like an adult to me. I think it's him. Oh, nonsense! <clears throat> How many eight-year-olds do you see walking around that look like this? Huh? Your voice. Alright, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. Got it. <laughs> uh, I, but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. 
<sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss Yeah, I read the book before the movie. Ready Player yeah, One. I just happen the they happen to make a movie. That was still a magical performance. The book is really good. The movie's good too, but I think the book is a little bit better. There's also a Ready Player 2 book, but 1 was way better. 2 was kind of rushed. Found you. did. That doesn't sound like something you'd say. I'll say with my help. Yeah, yeah. You're in the footnotes somewhere. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? I thought the first rule was... Don't talk about it. <laughs> Is this more secret talk? There's another uh, Easter egg right there. The Ready Player One Where worth it reading? Fight? Yeah, it's definitely Can worth it to read. Way? It's enjoyable. I think I got it from the library. But it's an obvious building. I would I read the books first. Come with Hawk. Planned to watch a movie weeks ago. I forgot about it. Thanks, Not sure about the book. One. Since I That's don't get immersed in books as much. You. It doesn't fit in the horror life. genre. Oh, it's not horrifying. Just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Uh -huh. In fact, it's awesome. They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Loads of kids take part. Ugh, despicable. We're here. This is it. Hook's gonna go fight. See you later. Fight? But who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge. That's who. You could even, if you want, get it in the library and listen to it. Uh, audiobook. I bet they have it. I want to say mine was read by Klein, the, the author. It probably was. So the moles control this whole area. How much do you know about wildfire? I'll say the moles control the, the moles control everything underground. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Alright, level up. We're moving it. Boxer recruitment form. Fighting spirit. Okay. Non pulp fiction. Ooh, I found something. There's a chest there. Ah, trash can. Hidden trash can. You see a pitiful trash can made of tin with a torso clearly dented from trauma. It seems like someone took their pent up emotions on it whilst passing by. Street lamp. Hey, I heard a new fighter showed up at the club. A uh, young guy, dark hair. They say he's invincible. Where'd he come from? 
Sampo. I heard someone say he's an elite Silvermane guard. Don Hung. <laughs> Who else? Don't be ridiculous. The Silvermane guards have been gone for ages. Why would one suddenly appear out of the blue? <laughs> it's Don Hung or Sampo or that. Come on, Mysterious man. kid. Let's go. Gatekeeper of the Underground Ring. Dark Fist Tournament? What is it? Can't disclose too much if you don't have an invitation. Only selected fighters get first class fisty cuff. Dark Fist Tournament. It's a thousand times more exciting than anything in the club. I guess you need an invitation from the fight club. Not interested. Go away. What's wrong with this? Alright, let's go in. Let's see who this super dark hair fighter guy is. Today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest! On one side, it's Don Hung. Tall, blue and handsome, it's the your guy. Smiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! Or, Don and Hung, his opponent Cold is Dragon none Young. Other than the unfeeling, incendiary, it rhymes explosive kind of. might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Farah. Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone. On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say: whatever. And so, let the semifinals of the 1,758th Fighting King Challenge. Begin! Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience He's have like, mm, charged whatever. into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Yum! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you! And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked! You're welcome! Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion! The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable! But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only! Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home! And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead! He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin <laughs> and of friends. Team Robomatic! I can take them on my own, you know. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Hold the line. Destroy them all. I just want to go home. <laughs> oh, I can't auto. Hold your body and mind. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> He's not even on my team. Flawless victory. Cold Dragon Younger and Cold Dragon Youngest, cooler than Cold Dragon Young. <sighs> Forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Hey, eh, I tried. We've got an explanation to demand. We've got another butt to kick. We should thank him. 
Let's go, we should get. Let's get after him. That guy can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. Mailbox tucked away in the corner, trying to be noticed, better not disturb it. You get a sense that even the most sociable person would need some personal space, let alone the mailbox. Sample is going to be around the corner. Just thinking to myself, am I getting Put robbed? The chest there to Ooh, draw your attention in that direction. Me. So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Save it. You saw us in there and got scared. So you pulled a runner. Told you you were scared. Me? Scared? Oh, my friends. What do I have to fear? <laughs> Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. You set him up. Yeah, we're just missing. My fine fellow, please don't do that again. You scared the daylights out of me. Wait a minute, we're not done here. You dragged us to the underground. So what's the big idea? I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So, it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <sighs> no, it's true. Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win! I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. Please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Why should we get to know Wildfire? Why would Wildfire want to help us? What kind of organization is Wildfire? Lead the way and don't try to pull you have a little mystery. faith. It's like I said, Zampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> So, what does Wildfire do all day? By everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Huh. Where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Geomero. Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed we off. We just heard about another, that. Right? Aren't you listening there, Well, Orange? only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. 
Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geo Mero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Here's some more. In a trash cans. Game time. Guess how many trash cans there are in Villabot. Attention. Trash cans put side by side together are considered as one. But those that you can see but cannot be reached do not count. Okay. I think they want me to pick 21. 20 seems like the most likely to be clicked on, so I'm going to go with 19. Nice answer. Honestly, it's uncertain if your answer is correct. This is the underground, underworld after all. Trash. This trash has not seen its overlord relatives. Something, something. Guess how many trash can there is here? How would I know this is not fair? Seven, six, five. Um. Seven. Wrong answer. Understandable. Who would count the existing trash can? Stop this game right now. Too childish. Huge dumpster filled to the brim. Mixture of all kinds of trash results in a putrid odor. However, those who live in the underworld have some consolation. They don't need to go through the trouble of sorting their garbage. Old dumpster stands silently, carrying its own resolute gravitas. But that reminds you of an elder of vast wisdom. It, sat, it stood on the side of the street for years, witnessing its rise and fall. Great, I will open it. Fine, I won't touch it. I pay respects to it. We bow down to elder dumpster, to which it responds with a deep dignity. It almost feels like it is the size of two dumpsters. I get reward sanctity of the trash. Where have you been? Oh, old Oleg isn't here either. Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare! Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case, ears heading nothing towards moves it. up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on, my dear fellow. I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. Oh, I think I saw a deer. One second. If I did, the deer's gone, or at least ran away. We're constantly eating our gardens, so it's a, it's a war. Us versus deer. Grocery store worker. Looks awfully familiar. He's standing in almost the same spot that the one above ground was. Shadow of Destruction. Hey! That's the Eidolon thing. Yeah, dear. For, for real, it might have been. It looked like it. It ran across the thing, but I, it's hard to tell that in my side view. You might even see them in the background. If you look out the window right there, sometimes that's actually one of their favorite spots. I'll duck if, you, if I see another one and I'll turn around and yell at it. But it'll pop up on the bin in that window. 
Oh, recipe stone of the Everwinter Monument. I want to save for this one first. Zealand's usually always out on patrol here at this time. You should have make noise and scare him away. Is that Bronya? Hey, it's your favorite character. Never seen a deer before. Are you kidding? I see him every day. It looks like she's in trouble. Unfortunately. My friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh, you know it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> We Not should right avoid attracting too much attention. We can't just leave her. We used to have them right there because we have a little garden there, and they constantly like to eat the tomatoes and try to like mess up the garden. And we found this smelly spray that smells like really bad, and we sprayed it all down. And then after a couple weeks, they stopped coming. But everyone, so high we still see them. But they're on the other side of the yard all the time. We have a fishing line fence around the garden, like an invisible fence. Sometimes it's tough, some, sometimes they plow right through it. Sampo's right, we can't just stand here. Don Hung's right, we can't figure this out. Seventh is right, does anyone have popcorn? Uh, I was kidding. And get your own opinion. But I agree with Don Hung, we can't just leave her to the bullies. Well said. The young lady is wise and righteous. Let's help her. All right, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. You dare attack someone on our turf? Well, how about a few I don't really see deer in any wildlife other than cats or dogs. Wow. Darn it! Quick! Disperse! I see everything. We see oh, armadillos, deer, squirrels. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. Turkeys. These vagrants have got some nerve lizards. looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. Turtles. I hear we found a turtle the other day. The underworld a visit. I've seen quite a few. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the underground. I have a sign on my nose saying Tortoise Crossing. <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the underworlders? The Silvermane guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellaball from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. It's like every other character has their hair crossing like this. Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Zila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. He, he looks cross-eyed, Sam. Fully booked. Who are they? I'm Mango3M. I'm a friend of Sampo's. I'm Oleg's guest. Friend of Sampo's. A friend of his? Then most of the underground is your enemy. Well, it's like this. The chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. That was the wrong answer. We're looking for a Celeron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... 
<laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the chief, hmm? Huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving. Daily training now available. Simulated Universe Part 1. One's fallen into the abyss. Select Daily Training. Complete missions from the daily training to gain activity and gain, claim the corresponding rewards. I can do this one. Assignments. Assignments from all over the galaxy to claim rewards. I love Seely, she's a good character. Oh, okay. She looks cool. Escape on your phone. Turn on your phone. Open the assignments. Complete assignment to get corresponding rewards. Chances have durations to get more rewards. Use characters recommended pass. Wow, they didn't even wait to get started on this, did they? I don't have any of this special kind of recommended pass. Oops, four hours. Darn it, I messed up. Um, recall. So many little things are like giving you credit for every little thing. Start trial. Oh, character trials. Automatically getting Natasha. Twenty seven automatically get her. Clearing two, four, and six get you extra bonuses. Nameless honor. <clears throat> Raise its level to 30 to receive your light cup. Wow, this looks familiar. This is like exactly the same. You want me to purchase a level? Ah. Synthesize. Remote control Omni synthesizer with the phone to rapidly synthesize materials. None of this looking for a campfire, huh?
Mmm, fried rice. Event character Luo Cha is a good healer. If you want a good healer in the game, I recommend him. Okay. I don't have him, but you said the event character, so. We're making stuff. What? You're not giving me a reward for doing that? Whoa! My phone is ringing like crazy. Let's start with the crack up con. It's not scary to know there are people better than you. What's scary is that they even work harder than you. Youngster, how can you even sleep at night with while knowing that other people are doing so much better than you? The world is has no magical conch shells, nor does it rain credits. You are not the chosen one. So if you want something, work hard for it. I'm offended you think you're funny. What's the spam? Does this phone have a virus? I'm curious, are you related to the Magic Kong? Bird is responding. This is a kind reminder from the security center. Please stay alert to anonymous message sent from unknown sources and exercise extreme caution when reading any such information as it may be redundant, may be fraudulent. If you need help, don't hesitate to reach out to the space station security department. Sent to wall, please don't reply. I knew it was a scam. Please don't reply. Oh, I'm definitely replying. Sensitive beings. Accept admission. Are you alright? Why don't you text back? Who's lay? Wrong number, I'm Mangler 3 Oh, sorry, but whoever's reading this, tell Lei when you meet her that Rocky will be waiting for her at the space station. So, who's Lei? You should be fine, you're still fairly new to the game, so you will have a lot to spend for characters later on. However, me on the other hand, I actually have to save up my pulls and not recklessly pull like I used to if I want to get Blade or 5 star Don Hong. You can get 5 star Don Hong? How do you do that? It's also not good since they're coming fairly soon. Do you upgrade him from 4 to 5 or is there a completely different character? To the faint star. So I just got a new mission. Berta says, upgrade is done, come test. Yes, ma'am. Missions, okay. Oh my gosh, look how many missions we have already. One's fallen into the abyss, go to the entrance of the great mine, find Seely. That's your character you like. To the faint star, sensitive beings, simulated universe part one, conductor's rewards. That's a daily. Oh my gosh. We're gonna keep going on this main one for now. Five star Don Hong is supposedly coming in 1.3. I think he'll be a separate character. Oh, like a different version, like in uh, another Eden, how you have like different parallel universes of different people. It's Bronya, your favorite. I will arrest you under the Supreme Guardian's decree. Nothing has changed. I am not your friend. It takes time to make friends. I like to get close to my enemies. Please arrest me. I can't wait. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. I saw you the day before the Goethe Hotel. Jabbar took you to see you. the Supreme Guardian. He told me you were visitors from beyond the sky. Just like the interstellar travelers of ancient legend. People of all kinds that carried the will of the eons. Depart said that 
you wanted to help us reverse the damage that the Eternal Freeze and Fragmentum continue to wreak on our planet. But that night, Mother summoned me and ordered me to take a detachment to a rescue. What happened? The Supreme Guardian didn't tell me the details and Jappard had to rush back to the front line. I don't understand. You're not the only one. We really do want to help you. The Supreme Guardian betrayed us. <gasps> the Silvermane Guards withdrew to the surface long ago. I must avoid that identity here. Until we're back in the overworld, I propose a temporary truce and cooperation. Your true intentions are... I bet I can teleport back there. If it helps you to trust me, I'm willing to answer your questions to the best of my ability. What crime have we committed? Do you know where this Teleron is? What did this Teleron Silvermane guards withdraw from the underground? Why are you willing to pop it? I'll say do you know where this Teleron is? Truthfully? I've never heard of this Stellaron. But if all this catastrophe could be brought to an end simply by sealing it, then I hope its existence proves to be real. Mm. We should be going to see Wildfire. Let's move. Wildfire doing in the mine. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, <laughs> the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's impossible that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought Wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. I don't think I understood. Can you go over it again? No, I understand. That's it. As for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. <laughs> You're oh, about to come face to face with reality. Why did she just talk? Why did she talk to you with you in there? Great mind. It's a domain. Huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? <gasps> oh no, the doctor. What's Natasha doing oh. here? Scared me, I thought it was Genshin doctor. Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take She's a drink. She's got like a drink on her neck. <laughs> I'm smashing it. Probably just a healing potion. These people, what are they doing here? I'm not feeling too good. I <laughs> picked the cheesiest Hello? answers. You look fine to me. Uh, sorry, I need to prioritize the wounded. There have been violent clashes between the miners and local thugs in the last few days. Many people are injured. You see these people? They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners will try to take revenge. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard the first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. 
<laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the flood mansion. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have seen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. That's the first of Guardian's secret. The vein should belong to those who discovered it. I'll say that first thing. I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. We came here willing to help out. Sounds like a fair trade-off. Not interested, sorry. Suit yourself. I'm not forcing you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. Relics. Provides the wearer with bonus stats. Gain bonus buffs to the wearer uh, if the wearer has a complete set equipped. Finally, I get to wear stuff. Relics. Okay, so this is my equipment, basically. Attack increases 12%. Nice. What are these? Do you have all six? Alright, so they just gave them musket things to her. Totally random. What if we did myself recommending you? I don't know why. I'm getting a message. Found some strange items. Relics. 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 Those, these are relics. Thanks. So, what's a relic? A construct made from a data stream. Many believe they are linked to Stellarons and the Fragmentum phenomena. What we refer to as relics are objects corroded by the Fragmentum whose data is saved and then reconstructed. Like my computer. Thanks. So what's a relic? I like that response. He doesn't get it. You should consult Herda. She's an expert in relic research. never should have let those vagrants mine with us. I wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for those thugs. Oh, enough already. Nobody has it easy. This is a time to help each other out. I remember one of your uncles had to flee Rivertown, which makes him a vagrant too, right? Would you drive him away? He's family. The other vagrants aren't my problem. I'm gonna check and see if I somehow got the thing. I can ascend him now, yay! Not quite as high as yours, but little by little.
Got a lot of passes. Might even have enough to uh, get a new character. Level 5 Don Hong. So now these are all at 30. If I try to ascend, it says requires equilibrium level 1. That's not equilibrium, that's Eidolon. Alright, I can level up some of this stuff. Even has a similar Also, sorry if I'm not making much comments. My family's cleaning up our place. I assure you, I'm still here. Oh, okay. That's not a problem. This is probably all boring, basic stuff, like leveling up stuff. You've probably seen this a million times. I'm using all my stuff just because. I'm sure y'all can get it really quickly later. jump up. I have to go around. Aha! Speaking of going around, I found it. The giant ore vein, the one they discovered, that must be where the clashes are centered. Come on! That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Peek. Let's peek at Peek. Peek has his eyes open. Falling asleep in a place like this. They probably don't have the Impressive. animation to shut their hey. eyes. Wakey, wakey. You'll get mustard on your head. I like the comic relief. Mushroom, right? I can't see it on it's the like Paimon have pink hair in this <gasps> My seal! You got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter! Take shelter? <laughs> I remember now! These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team! At the time I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back! And then where did File Fire go? They take your clothes? These ones. You don't know these guys. No moral compass. They rob you blind in a flash. It's only thanks to Wildfire that the Great Mine hasn't fallen under their control completely. Uh, speaking of which, where is Wildfire? Did they head further in? Is there a fight happening? It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to see me. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a... for a nap. I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Now she is. Okay. Are you hurt? I have an arrow in my head. Uh, oh, could Zilla, you? 
thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Robots? Does it ring a bell? Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring! Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. Maybe someone's playing tricks? <laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss, Varog. Varog? That name sounds familiar. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Varog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zilla and the rest of you, be careful. Robots? Aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. That's not the only thing you won't have heard of down here. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? You idiot, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Leave the rest to me. What? We're just having fun. <laughs> what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Let's go. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa. What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. I need my baseball back here. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So, you aliens know about the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A Home Use Object Finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an interastral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years and 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an interastral peace appliances retail store to
to conduct repairs. What? The spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Let's take it. Maybe it could be some use. My inventory is already maxed out. Uh, you need to log out once in a while. <laughs> Let's take it with us. It doesn't take up much room. And if it really is broken, there are trash cans everywhere. This tough round Sparrow's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? We ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geo Marrow and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Disgrace. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mighty team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! Let's save them. Stay calm. Leave it to me. I'm going to. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. To betray my customers, I charge extra. Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh... Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They 
been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarov's robots. <laughs> It's the firecracker. Say hello. <laughs> which one pump which one's firecracker? What do those robots want? Or we need to talk about this boss. He says, what do the robots want? Your run of the robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? That can command robots? I've never heard of anything like... Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> Sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? I want to meet Svarog and his minions. Uh, we saved the miners. Let's go back. We haven't found wildfire yeah, yet. Yeah, you still need to talk with the chief. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. I like these colors. My guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard pressed by Svarog. You can get off Antonia, now folks eating lunch. See ya. Good luck with your back through the entrance to meet up with Thanks Natasha? for stopping by, I appreciate it. It's almost time for dinner anyway, so have a good one. Have a happy uh, fourth of July tomorrow. Roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. It's completely blocked by the mine cart. What do we do? Can we blow it up? Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pen connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Friends, do you need to find something? It's Richard. Andy can help? How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, there's no input for sensors to operate on. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. ID can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Uh, let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Ah, oh, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set, confirm. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item, minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. If he's a finder, he should just go find it for me. Beep, beep, beep. I 
As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call B B B Inter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. B B B Inter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace appliances store. Beep, beep, beep! Interastral peace appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Based on your search history, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Bindy? How convenient! So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Bindy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item. Minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Item found! Please commence search according to the home use object finder safety manual. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend that you said in daily I have to beat it once, so I'm gonna get it while we're here. Catching on. easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you going to do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've got to be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. <coughs> you 
fix the minecart together. had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! Such a comedian. The robots will have seized the road ahead by now. We should go- Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! That model... One of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to add on a third Good. character. The stronger the better. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> We're just having fun. I also forgot to do my shield here. Weekly, most unlikely of all newspapers. Nailed him. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. will ever see it fully excavated. Mm. Bunch of them down here. Saw three. This thing. So this is what everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparrow, it's such a massive thing. 
I've never seen it's so clean. much geo marrow before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the order in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparrow to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparrow. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team in wildfire. They don't understand your actions. If only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We haven't settled our final score. Sila. Subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Sparrow... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. She barefoot. This guy looks stronger than the other robots. His robots don't seem too friendly. What about the girl in red? That robot is gonna take her away! We must leave, Clark. If the variables have triggered a calculation reset, the furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Good, the stronger the better. Leave it to me. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Ooh, I'm made to be broken! More business, eh? <laughs> Let's begin. What 
just having fun. Huh? Leave it to me. Close. Why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. That girl in red. Why did Svarog leave? Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. Firecracker came back. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now. He says, Feed me or die. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. <laughs> nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. You the chief, you're a hard man to find. Pleased to meet you. We're here to make friends with Wildfire. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? Stellaron. You explain about the mission before the Stellaron. Oleg and Steve. I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. I've never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. You mean... Procolia? The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the Underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there! I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. In this overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the town, hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer? I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievance in the community. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold, unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even a concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Is he really that old? He looks pretty new. You mean the war with the Antimatter Legion? Yeah, I remember hearing about the 
entering this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds of years ago. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. Uh, what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys, hmm, it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make a run. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our silver maiden girl here, do you have time? I think I'll talk with you in a Hey, it's song. It's time to make the song. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in the video. I'll double check. I don't think anyone else is on, but I'll see if I can read somebody for you. We got uh, El Muerto, 1981. Whoa, that's all caps. Valid user. Put in this author at the underscore. There we go. Alright, thanks for joining.